Alright guys, so we're back here at the Tui. Um, this is my brother's car. Uh, so, we're just stripping off the head. We've got that new head. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a performance gain or, or like comparison really between a stock. This is my brother's stock uh, motor that he had and it was probably at its max what it could make for the car. Like everything just worked for me on it. Um, but so when he put that COS cam in you can see there it's actually made an imprint and that's from the small valve so it's done it on every piston so that's why you can't run a big cam with the big duration on it or else it's going to end up hitting the top of the piston and leaving a mark but that's not bad but it could have been a lot worse and it could be worn on the conrod bearing it just does shit like that and that's why my other motor what was in my red car blew up so that's why that if you're going to do this you need to do a clearance check on it probably measure it double check all your timing but i would just get it drilled just to be safe than sorry so the duration it means that the duration was too big that on the downstroke of the cam the load was still there so the valve came down faster than what the piston was moving down and it just touched touched it but it's not bad we're going to run it like this we're going to clean it all up we're going to get the copper head gasket on it we're going to chuck oliver's new cam uh well my old cam my old 266 na cam and he's got all his valve springs in there if you want to watch it well we'll add that into this video um so that's what we're going to do. We're going to chuck it on. We're going to do a comparison between the both. It's been ported as well. Yeah, port, port. Mild port. Yeah, it's been... Uh, Opened up to the gasket size. Yeah, so port matched. Um, yeah, and, and that's really it. So we're going to do all that. We're going to see the gains and benefits of what we're just going to do. We're going to post it out so you guys can see it. The honing you can almost still see on this as well, like factory honing there, that's how clean the bores are compared to my other bores that the engine I just built. These things are like 15 times better. There is no like scoring on the side of it and this is the engine that I was doing all the pops and bangs on this thing was really getting some abuse. Um, and as you can see there's no abuse even in there. But a lot of carbon wear on the top of the piston, yeah, that's more yeah, that, than usual really. Yeah. No, normally all this shit in oh. here has got caked on. But that, that's not too bad. That's that's cleanable. So but what that is... Scrape that back and wipe it with the rag. What what that actually is, is that it's, you can 100% tell valve stem seals. So we've already changed valve stem seals and we've done... Well, we've got a the, brand new refreshed head for it. Yeah, and we've also lapped the valves into the actual um, seats. So the whole thing's going to run real nice now. Yeah. So we're probably looking at about, you know, maybe 100 horsepower off this heap of shit. Something no, like that. Now you're talking. Right guys, so what we've got here is the new freshly done head. It's all been gone over. Um, we put a bit of this. It does cork paper and metal head gaskets. Um, this is the one that if you have problems with your car dying off when it's idling, probably check this if you haven't changed it in a while because normally they start to leak. Um, but you spray this on and that will help. It will last a lot longer because it's got copper stuff and when it's got all your water jackets. But that's why I run my ITBs, just straight up seal it all off. Don't need that crap. But if you're running stock stuff, use a bit of that. And it, it actually glues itself on. So it's a bit of a... Not too easy to take off. Just get a knife and run your way up there and just take it off quite nicely. Um, so we're going to chuck all this back on now. So we'll just do all that. Alright, right guys, so we've got the TUI head gasket here, um, we've got the uh, all the intake all on, so we'll just spray down this, let it tack dry for 5 minutes, and then we'll slap the head on and we'll video that. Right guys, so we've just got the TUI head gasket all done, we've got the head, we've just chucked two head studs, we're going to go around chuck all the head bolts in, start to talk them down, then we'll chuck all the cam seal on, cam gear, We'll get all the timing in check and um, then we'll chuck on all the belt and everything and then it's all just the hoses for the water 
and a couple plugs for the car, that's really about it. Chuck the valve cover on, well we'll do our lashes, get all that lined up, and then after that is, we'll chuck some oil in it, and heat it up, recheck the valve lashes, and then once all that's done, then it's, that's ready, so sweet. Right guys, so we've nicked up all the head studs, but I haven't fully talked them all down yet, so I'm going to talk all them down, and then I'll put on the exhaust, uh, then I'll do the timing for the motor. I've already connected all this, it's ready to go, it's out of the way. So I'll just talk down the head now, I'll finish that, I'll put the headers on, do the cam belt, do the valve lash, and then put the valve cover on, and then we're good to go. I'll add a bit more oil, because we would have lost the oil. Check the dipstick and all that, but yeah. Right guys, so we're just back here, I'm just going to chuck this uh, dizzy in, make sure that's lined up nice. All the valve lashings are all done. We've also timed the whole engine, so all the time, all the timing's all done for that. Um, got our auxiliary belt on. Um, everything else is bolted all up, exhaust, intake manifold. This is the head here. You can see it's nice and clean. We're just going to put a bit of Morris on everything, just for its first run up. So it's got a bit of lubrication on the top because obviously no oil yet. Um, and then you'll sort of see how this goes. Spark plugs and stuff will win. Just need to do all the wires. Right guys, so we're back here with the Tui, brother's build, it's got a 266 cam in it, valve springs, port and polish head. Um, we're just going to do the first start now. Oliver, give it a whirl. It's running alright. No leak. Alright guys, so we're back there. We've got the 266 came in here. Just letting all uh, the bubbles out of the radiator and everything. It's still running now into that 15 degrees of timing so far. Uh, I need to go over the valve latches, but I'm going to need to get in the engine up. I'm just leading the radiator and all that at the moment. I've got the heater core on, so it leads the whole thing, you know. If you just lead it and you don't turn on the heater, it's like a car. You only half lead it, so then when you do turn it on, drive down the road and you've got air. Bloody, uh, in the car, so that's a good way to come back. So yeah, we're just going over it. And once it feels good, we've got to take it up where we want. Just have to put on the throttle bracket, and that bracket, and then we're out. And it's going to be bloody enough, so it's good. Right guys, so this is the Tui here. 